marking files for removal with duplicate cleaner. Marking by click. Today we're going to learn about marking files in duplicate cleaner. After a scan is complete, the files in the list are arranged in groups of duplicates. Each group contains all copies of a file. Marking a file means that you intend to move or delete that file. A file is marked when it has a tick or check mark next to it. There are many ways to mark files. The simplest way to do this is to click on the checkbox next to the file. Marking by Context Menu Right-clicking on a file brings up a context menu. From here, you can perform actions such as marking all duplicates in the current folder. You can also perform actions on parent folders from this menu. Marking using the Selection Assistant. The Selection Assistant sidebar contains many actions to help you mark your files. For instance, you can mark all but one file in each duplicate group. This is an easy way to allow you to keep one copy of each file. Note that folders set as protected will never be marked. Marking by text in list. The mark by text pattern function allows you to mark any file by the content of one of the columns in the list. For instance, part of the folder name or a date. Marking by file location. The Mark by Location tool is a really useful tool for power users. You can specify a favorite folder that you want to keep, and Duplicate Cleaner will mark files in other locations that are duplicates of that folder. The opposite is also possible. You can mark files in a specified folder that have duplicates elsewhere. Marking by image size. If you have scanned in image mode, you'll be able to see the image size in the duplicates list. The selection assistant can use this to mark the largest or smallest copies of pictures. Removing the files. Once all the marking is done, you can delete the duplicate files. Click on the File Removal button to bring up the removal window. From this window, you can delete, move, copy, rename, or hard link the files. Thanks for watching.